Hey Saab people, today I'm gonna to help you diagnose problems that you're having with your cooling system on the 2.8 V6. Whether it's overheating or just leaks, this is gonna give you some quick pointers and places to start looking for your problem. So I've actually made a list to go over all of the things that are important to your cooling system. So I'll go ahead and show you that. You got your radiator, your fan, your water pump, your thermostat, your coolant reservoir, your coolant temperature sensor, and the hoses. Okay, so the first place that you need to check when you're starting this out is check your coolant reservoir cap. These are made really brittle right out of the factory. Mine broke just the other day. I didn't actually believe this until it happened to me, but it's a really good idea to replace this with a aftermarket one. Um, I got this for like $12, best purchase I've made. It has not leaked once since I've owned it. My other ones that I had would leak all the time. I kept replacing them with OEM ones all the time. They always leaked. And the next thing to check are these hoses, just because they're so accessible. Look around them, look under them for any leaks at all. It's a really good place to start. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the front and work my way back, and you should too. Depending on what your issue is, this is gonna help you diagnose it. So if you are having an overheating issue, check your radiator. Make sure that the screen on the front is not clogged up with like feathers, whether you hit a bird or something, or just dirt or mud or something because if air is not passing through your radiator, for those of you that don't know, a radiator has a grill on the front and it has these tubes like this. It actually looks a lot like this slat. So pretend that this slat is your radiator. It has coolant that moves through these tubes and air passes along them, cooling it. If you know that your radiator isn't clogged, your intercooler isn't clogged, and there, you need to also check, make sure that there's nothing blocking the airflow into there. That's really gonna mess you up. But what about when you're stopped? When you're stopped, your fan turns on when needed and it cool, it pulls air in and it cools your coolant when you're not driving. So if you're at a stoplight, it can continue to cool your car for you. Always double check to make sure that your fan is working. If not, it'll only overheat when you're sitting still. One more thing about your fan. So with your fan, there is no fuses in the fuse box there that run it. Your fan actually has its own set of relays on it somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but that is what I know. And so if your radiator is clogged, you're not gonna have any air passing through and your coolant is just gonna get really, really hot. So what about if that's not your problem? So your coolant is getting cold in the front, but it's not moving through your system. Well, there's two options. There's a thermostat. Your thermostat is under the turbo. And if your thermostat is not opening, it's not allowing to have the coolant pass through. So it's not having cold coolant pass through. And if it's not closing, then it's not allowing it to get up to temperature or cool down on the front and then move through the system again. If that is working, the next place you wanna check is your water pump your water pump is under this plate in here and it's inside of your pulley system and that is going to ensure that coolant is fully cycling all the way through your system now if that is not your issue then the next place i would check is your coolant temperature sensor it's down here on the front somewhere in this mess you can check on esob parts and they'll give you an exploded view and it'll show you right where it is if your sensor is broken your system isn't detecting whether or not your coolant is too hot or too cold so it's not opening and closing the thermostat now if none of that was your issue at all and you're just trying to diagnose a leak and not an overheating issue always check your hoses obviously check every connection make sure there's nothing leaking out check around your radiator make sure there's nothing coming out of your radiator and sometimes some leaks are only when the system is fully up to temperature and up to pressure like for me when my engine was off i was looking for this one leak and i could not find it and i did a full pressure test and what i learned was that this hose right here this metal one that you can see I saw that there was leaking on the outside of it. So you can see there how there's a little bit of pink on top of it. That is actually burned up coolant. So what I did was I pulled on it and there was a little O-ring and that O-ring was completely spent. So I went to Ace Hardware, I grabbed one, I threw it on there, put some oil on it, and then I wiped the oil off just to make sure that it would swell. And when I put it back in, it swelled right up and I never had a leak issue again. So I wanna finish off by saying um, if it's a issue with leaking, but you cannot find a leak. You absolutely can't find a leak, but you're getting that message that says your coolant level is low. There is a possibility that you have to change your reservoir. Um, there is a float. It's not the sensor itself. It's the float 
that lets the sensor know whether or not there's enough fluid in there. Sometimes it will get stuck and that happened to me. And so I put in the new reservoir and started working again. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and follow my Instagram. Hit me up if you have any questions or need any more help with anything.